Hi guys, look who I have here. This is my buddy George. He just went through his whole repertoire of noises. And um, I said to my husband, boy, do I wish I had my camera. <laughs> because he was laughing, he was talking, he was making funny noises. And as soon as I turned the camera on, he was quiet. Bentley, you want to come back? Come on, Bentley. Anyway, this is George, and I thought maybe you'd like to see more of me holding him. <laughs> um, he, um, he will let me know when he's going to bite me, and I will know certain things not to do around him. Um, he's very protective of his cage. He's very food aggressive. When I go to give him food, he thinks I'm taking it away from him. He's a, he's a bully. These are um, these birds right here. This little guy right here. He is a big bully, but he does hurt when he bites you. And um, now that he's 18 years old, he's much more mellow than he used to be. Right, George? Yeah. Do you love mommy? Yeah. You love mommy? Well, if he gets used to the uh, camera. I will show you how he gives me a kiss, but I have to be careful of that. Um, he will get on my shoulder, but he wouldn't get on my shoulder. He's not used to being in this room, I have to say that. But George is really good company. He is. Um, he has dinner with us every night. He watches TV with us every night. We take him out on the lanai and give him baths. And once in a while, I will bring him out on the... Uh, in the front yard and hold him and I have to hold his foot down because I'm not sure if he can fly and that would be a disaster if I lost my George. I've owned him for 18 years. Um, so those of you who are interested in in owning an Amazon parrot just realize that they they live a long time. <laughs> they can live to be 50, 60, 70 years old um, he will outlive me. He's outlived three of my dogs so far. Believe it or not, he's been on many vacations with us. He's been traveling with us. He's a very good traveler. He needs to have his nails clipped right now because this nail right here is <coughs> digging into me pretty much. Um, he gets his nails trimmed and his wings clipped uh, two or three times a year by a man in a bird shop down the street and his name is George also. <laughs> so right George? George has a little tiny bit of yellow on the front of his nose but he molted out all of the yellow on the back of his neck. So he's no longer a yellow named Amazon. He's an Amazon but he really is the, uh, the uh, breed is a yellow named Amazon. And um, what? What do you see, George? They're very, he's very curious and he doesn't like change. If he's in, um, if he goes past something that I, I've changed in the house, he freaks out. Like I put a new tablecloth on my kitchen table and he, he completely freaked out. Um, if I have something on the counter that he's not used to seeing when I bring him by to go in the kitchen, he, he freaks out. Yeah. Right, George? And if I put a new toy in his cage, he won't go near it for months sometimes. They like to shred things. I used to buy shredders for him, but I got tired of the mess. These birds are wonderful companions. They're wonderful pets. They're very intelligent. They require a lot of socialization. He doesn't get nearly enough. I feel bad about that. When we were living with my husband's brother and his wife, um, he was really, really happy and very animated all the time with people around. And I feel kind of bad about that because most of the time it's, it's just me and my husband. And he does spend a lot of time alone with Bentley. Um, they, they require their cage to be cleaned two or three times a week. Uh, you have to vacuum around their cage every day because they drop little seeds and little... Um, little uh, downy feathers so they're, they're a lot of work and his little portable tray needs to be cleaned all the time his dishes that I feed him in have to be cleaned all the time 
Yeah, and um, George really enjoys um, the food that we like to eat. And the only thing that he can't eat that's dangerous to him is avocado. Yeah, an avocado will give him fatty liver disease and he will die. So they don't recommend avocado for you. Right, George? You love mommy? You want to say something? Want to give me a kiss? Give me a kiss? No? Give me a kiss. You won't give me a kiss. All right. Anyway, just thought I would let you see George. He's uh, he's not comfortable in here, but <laughs> so oh, and one thing I love about Amazons, there are few species of parrots that will emit an odor from their nares, and he's one of them that does. Um, I actually love the smell. Um, the woman that sold me this bird told me about the scent that they emit and I smelled it and I said, yeah, and she said, you'll get addicted to that smell because they only emit it certain times, very infrequently. But when they do, oh, it's a wonderful scent and I can't describe it to you at all. <laughs> You'd have to own one of these birds to know what I mean. Mmm, yeah. So. Um, I also want you guys to know that uh, when George molts his feathers, I collect them and I sell them on eBay. <laughs> and I get pretty good money for them. People love them. So yeah, it takes me a good six months or so to collect enough feathers to sell. See, he's getting frightened by something. He must see something out the window. What? You see something? You okay? Uh. Uh, you want to sing? Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. He's not going to do anything. I just wanted you guys to see him and uh, enjoy him. And um, he has a little has a little silver band on his leg from the breeder. I don't know if you can see it. But uh, it's still there. He was bred in Georgia. All right, guys, I'm going to go shut the camera off now and let George go back and be comfortable on top of his cage. All right, buddy? All right? You want to say hello? Okay. All right. Thanks for watching. See you later, guys.